Well, this is Baruch Fleischman, and we're back here at the Tikkun Elevator Kolo. One of the things that I see as this book progresses, which I think I really like a lot, this these formats that have very short pieces that are labeled. And we understand specifically what he wants to say, and it's in a small amount of time, a small amount of dose. Over here, this rabbi, this Rabbi Morgenstern, they call him Itchy, Itchy Morgenstern. And I think that he really spells it like I-C-H-E, something like that. So that it actually has some, his name is Rabbi Yitzchak Morgenstern. I don't know what other names he has. Uh, and uh, it's a very a personalized way of saying something that we need to understand. So the Vekas through Vidui, this is the next topic. What happens is how do we come to cling to Hashem through Vidui? We understand that this is the time, This he said in the last year, <coughs> excuse me, that this is a time for us to really be looking at ourselves and ashamed. Ashamed about the things that we've done that have dug us into different kinds of holes that we find ourselves in. Or maybe not, maybe it's a momentary kind of thing. But to understand that Hashem is there in our presence all the time, and that we can find our way back try to correct that behavior. So he says, the Confessions of the Vidui Prayer contains the 22 letters of the Aleph base, beginning with the words of Shamnu, Bagadnu, and like that, it starts going in the Aleph base. So he says, he says, every Avera damages each of the 22 letters of the Alpha base, and Avera damages the 20 letters of the Alpha base, and the Tikkun for each Avera is to make Yehudin. Now this needs more explanation. Unification through each of the 22 letters, for each letter is a revelation of a Holocaust. So the idea of a, yuk- of a Yehud and the idea of an Avera. So the question is, is what happens when... Let's start over. The flow of life in the Ein Suf Baruch Hu is really dependent on the 22 letters. Now you could add the five double letters and that makes 27. But let's say we're talking about 22. And so when the light of the 22, when the 22 letters themselves, when let's call the 22 letters by, we'll make up this word here, we call it a medium. It's like a medium, like the radio, radio, yeah, radio, television, waves, some kind of waves, some kind of a communication ability, our telephone, something like that. But Exactly what the letters are as we see them are block letters. However they are, but they are a uh, a filter. And each one of these letters, when they're pure, they're able to filter the light of the Ein Sof Baruch Hu into doses within ourselves that reveal the greatness of Hashem in the world. And really that's what we need to do. There's lots of different ways to get to this. We're all working on it. But here in the Kabbalah, they're saying that the 22 letters themselves the, which are of the Aleph base, and this this Ashamnu, Bagadnu, etc., that we say during during the Vidui, and the Tikkun for each of era is to make Yehudim. What's Yehudim? Is to take opposites, because when they break, we have to put them back together again. So we say they break into opposites. <clears throat> Instead, remember the story of Adam and Eve, and Adam and Eve is really, they really start out as one, and she could become separate. That's part of the action of this world is that everything separates. But you can spiritually put them back together again. That's what he's talking about. That's called a yichud, making oneness is. Well, yichud is the basic Kabbalistic idea of yichud, is the mating of male and female, two most opposite things. But it could be the male of mating of black and white, and all different kinds of colors coming together to be able to form a pure flow of the light of God. Now, when one says Ashamno and Begadno, he should say it with a lot of enthusiasm and concentration and connect himself with Hashem through every single letter. For example, when saying the word Ashamno, which means we have done something that makes us, uh, it's really the basis of the word shame, but but he he says Ashamno, we've done something that makes us guilty of something, one should do tshuva for all the blemishes he calls in the letter Aleph. Listen to this technique. This is a meditation for us to do. When we say this 22 different parts of the Shabnu Bagadu, we said, when saying Bagadu, which is the next next word, 
he should be doing true for all the blemishes he caused in the letter base. The 22 letters from a heavenly a picture form a heavenly picture, which can turn all curses into blessing. When the verus that we do cause breakage in the letters, it automatically makes an opening for false ideas to enter and for just the lowest of things to come into our minds. He says, on the other hand, the 22 letters, if you could put them back together again, he's giving you a technique for doing that. The 22 letters, when you put them back together again, they've started to make things whole again. That is why the video was said before the Fidus of Paim. We say that before we, we say Tachnun, uh, only through rectifying all of the 22 letters of the alphabet, so that's what you have to do first, can one achieve the Yichud of Tachnun? Can one come to that Yichud? Now, the Yichud of Tachnun, which I learned with Baruch Hashem, uh, my friend Chaver uh, Mordechai Shmalo, this is that we went through this. It's actually an incredible thing that's going on in Tachnun, which is really the Yichud of, of Yaakov and Leah. Yaakov and Leah. This is what they call it. So Yaakov and Leah above the Chaz of Zeranpin. <clears throat> And then the Yichud of Zer Anpen with, with Rachel leads to that. It's just a whole, whole very, it's, it, in other words, it's, a, it, it's not about repentance exactly, but that we repent while we are making this Yichud. That's a, a, it's interesting an idea, which is an aspect of the complete Yichud. So this is what the Pasuk says. The Pasuk says, Shuva Yisrael Ad Hashem Elokecho, a turn. Return, Yisrael, you Jewish people, Hashem Elokecho. Return, Yisrael, until Hashem, your God, uh, uh, until, it says, until Hashem, your God, that's his translation. Meaning, one shall do tshuva until he reaches the level where everything is Hashem, your God. He has to do that so he understands that there is only God. He has your life in his hands. He, you didn't make yourself be born. You don't make yourself disappear. He's really... History itself. This is the lever where one can see and contemplate how everything is on a, a hidden level. That everything that is hidden from us is really all a locus where it's in, in other words, hidden but in the background of everything that we do. All a locus and contemplate how everything on a hidden level is all a locus and that everything happening under the sun is all through the 22 letters of the alphabet. One should know how to elevate all of the letters of the alpha base back to the source above it after they had become damaged by his sins. So we have the Asham the Bagadnu is coming is is coming uh coming to us now. We're gonna be coming to that, that Vidui. And then we understand this uh, if you Davin Nusach Svard or uh uh the Nusachari of the uh, Chabad, which uh, I say they don't pay much attention to this, it's not what they're paying attention to. In the Svardim, they have they have the vidui there every day. So you're just going through it every day. So you're supposed to go through it in, in Svardi and 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 excuse me in Nusach Svard and also Nusach Hari. But he says to pay a particular attention to each one of them and realize that what you're trying to do is make a rectification in the letters as we discussed, and we bring them back to their source above after all they've become damaged by the person's sin. Be ashamed of ourselves. Because connected to the level where everything is Hashem, your God, because when you're connected, are connected there. And you understand that we're manifestations that He lets us be. Thus, being always attached with Hashem is the preparation for all sins. And it is also the way of being protected from sinning again. You have, we have to be able to see. We're blind people. We have to be able to see where we're going with our behavior. The avoda of seeing everything as a lakus reflects the first of the Ten Commandments, I am Hashem, your God. Indeed, it is a difficult avoda to recognize this reality. I mean, to realize that, you know, you get up in the car, you have to take the kids to school, or whatever it is that you have to do. If you're older, like myself, you have to find things to do. But whatever that is, Hashem is always there with you too. And to be able to find that and find Him there, not so easy. But it is a reparation for all sin. But this is the way you have to do it to be able to repair. Along with this recognition, you recognize that Hashem is with you in your ordinary task, which is the main part of tshuva. 
So one must also make restrictions and guidelines for himself that he won't come and sin again. So that's what he meant earlier. That's what he meant, which you're trying to understand. He says that you come to an awareness that's good. That's not good enough. You have to do tshuva on what you're aware of the shame that you've, you've caused by your behavior. That is the outer part of tshuva, which one will all also need along with the constant recognition that everything is a shem. This is Baruch Flash with very interesting rabbi, Rabbi Yitzchak Morgenstern.